God is on the throne. It's kinda hard being met a tiny C18. Yeah, but homie, you know me. Still the same old team. Lil Tony with the grilled cheese and bologna. But in the back of the two yards. Okay, let's pray in. Lord Jesus, I thank you for today, Lord. I just ask that you touch this meeting, Lord, that we that I decrease and you increase. Lord, that you open up the hearts that, Lord, that we can hear what you want us to hear. Lord, that we bring it and apply it to our lives, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. That we decrease and you increase in our life, Lord. That you save us and you save us to the uttermost, Lord. Forgive us for our sins. Clean us from all unrighteousness, Lord. And bring us into your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Somebody want to write this, uh, do a picture of gingerbread man real quick? Huh? You do it? Okay. Big fat head. I didn't know you was an artist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Where, where's the rest of it? Hey, 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 hey. No, one, in, one in between? Oh, you got a short arm? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Y'all tell me about my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Little legs, too. Oh, my God. The tiny hey, line. No, that's it. So this outer part is what? Come on, you got it right? Uh, you got it right. Okay. The body? Am I explaining it also? The body? Yeah, you want to explain it. Go on. Okay. This outer portion of the gingerbread man is the body. Okay. We all got a body, right? Yeah. Everybody got a body? Well, one day this body has to die. Does anybody know why? Can you tell me something? Can I pass out of body? I can't say, come out. Oh, out of can I cast out the body? No, you can't do more. Because your body, you stuck with your body. Remember, we're just. This is just a vessel. This is not the real you. This is gonna fall to the ground. Your body gonna fall to the ground. You can't say, come out. You can't cast a demon out of your body. Okay. Okay. You cast a demon out, but you can't cast the body out. Put it that way. Okay. Go. Okay. And then the inner portion is. Can you tell us more about okay. the body? And more about the body. The body has its own desires, guys. It got its own wants, its own taste, its own things it likes to do. And sometimes that gets us in a lot of trouble. What kind of stuff? Uh, no, I'm saying you guys. I'm talking about all of us. Everybody with a body. It, everybody, this body, if you like food, if your if your thing, if your vice, everybody got a vice. That's what my husband always say. We all got a vice, Angel. Okay. So nobody really can down the next person here because we can't crucify the next person. Because look, you might be doing this, but what are you doing? See? And then what am I doing? So there it goes there. It's everybody. When you point one finger, you point what? Three back at yourself. And you remember that. I always know that. <laughs> huh? That's for real. You point three back. Listen, and, and a lot of people don't like to take responsibility for what? Yeah. How many people, when they do you wrong or do something wrong, come back and say, I'm sorry? How many times do you say you're sorry? And you know you're wrong. But that pride, it is. like that. You know you're wrong. You kind of apologize. What you say? In the way you do it, you know, everybody's in the way you do it. You know a person that know they did real wrong, and they got a little way that they're trying to speak back. I didn't really want to go that way. I bought you some ice cream. I bought you some ice cream. 
I made you some bread, please. So that's how you say you're sorry? Sometimes. But instead of saying, you know what, I repent. Well, that person would have to know you is what I'm saying. Okay. You know, that person, so they know you're saying you're sorry. Yeah, they know. Like, people know. You know what I'm saying? Like your neighbor or anybody. Right. You, you got a certain relationship. Like my neighbor, he cool with me, right? But but sometimes, sometimes I, I might get on nerves and she might do something that they might just take the clothes out and look, change the little TV stuff. But then when you see me on the phone, you know I'm mad about it? Oh, how are you doing there, Tony? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's his way of saying I'm sorry. People got their own way. Okay. Okay. Sometimes you gotta read between lines. Okay. So the body is and the body's active, right? So what do we have to do? Okay, listen, we know that we're we don't we don't supposed to be of this world, right? So what do we have to do to tame the body? Because the body is active. Everybody's body is active. What Paul say he did? Yeah. He said he beat it. How do you beat a body? What? There you go. There you go. You fast and you pray. Does that beat your body? How does fasting beat your body though? You say no. No. Oh, I want to do this really bad. No. Ooh, I want to. No. Okay, and the spirits and the demons inside, what's happening to them? The demons need yeah, energy yeah, to survive. Yeah, because they need energy to survive, right? So well, guess what? When you when you kill that flesh by uh, fasting, they can't survive. They get weak. They weak. They like they, you know, they eat. Got a, uh, eat. They got a good uh, uh, illustration of that in that Venom movie. In the Venom movie, when it first possessed them, it just had got a body. It just was able to live in a, in a host like humans do, and it was extremely hungry. It's all for me. I want to eat. I want to eat. It was just running around trying to get something to eat so bad. And he was trying to figure out, well, why do you want to eat so well? Why, so, why am I so hungry? Because that's not you. That's something else. That's right. It is controlling you. That's right. And what the demon needs, he needs the fuel, right? And the fuel is what? Energy. So what he's sucking from us is our what? Energy. Our energy. And a lot of times when you're thinking thoughts is not right, perverted thoughts, dirty thoughts, and it just flows. Say, I might be reading the Bible and a dirty thought just popped through my head. Wait a minute, where that come from? Is that me? Okay, they say, it could be. Yeah. But here's, <laughs> look at Tony. <laughs> Both Tony. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Everybody has some kind of thoughts that's not right. They have perverted thoughts. If you've been in the world, if you've been if you've been fornicating with people that's not your husband or wife, if you had all these different spirits inside you, you do have their thoughts too. It's like you're infested because you didn't put them people. You, well, you did, became one with all them people. Right. So of course that's what. Remember I said we became we kind of schizophrenic. So I believe that almost all people do have some thoughts that's not really good. You know, I know I do. I ain't going to even lie about it, you know. It might not be as perverted as yours, but I know I do. And then when you have a perverted thought, what do you do? You rebuke it? What's rebuke mean? Yeah. Strongly come against it. You strongly come against it. Right. I rebuke that thought. 
Okay, come on, come on, Eddie, keep on talking. We're talking about body, because body is money. Yeah, body? So, yeah, oh, you can't be driven by the body, because the body and the spirit, they at war with each other. So the spirit is who you are, and you say, oh, I want to do right, but the body got a whole nother agenda. So they got two different agendas, and you wonder why what you want to do, you can't do, and what you don't want to do, you keep on doing, you know? That's what Paul said, and that a lot of people can relate, I know I can relate. It's because it's two different programs working at the same time. There's a body program working, and then your spirit. I ain't supposed to be doing this. And, you know, so one has to get out Eat of the control. way. Yeah. So wait a minute. She said a good point. So if one got to get out of control, let's go next to the soul. The inner is the soul. That's my mind, my will, and my emotions, right? When, when, when we were born... God in Genesis, he said, he made us lit, a little what? Soul. No, he made us a mind, a will, and an emotion. So what she said is either you're going to be controlled, the soul, which is my mind, my will, and my emotion, is going to be controlled by the body, or it's going to be controlled by the what? Spirit. The spirit, good. Somebody's driving. Somebody's going to drive that, that car. Okay. Either the carnal man or the what? Spiritual man. And he, she said that they what? Are hostile towards each other. Souls gonna get cast in hell. No, 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 no. Not your soul. No, your soul is what became what God. He said, I wait. He said, he said at the beginning, in the beginning, in Genesis, he said, man became a living soul. That's my will and emotion. And then I, I, God, breathe the spirit. I breathe in him the breath of life. That's the spirit. Okay? So man, first he came, he's a hollow being. Nothing. Here's a man, he's empty. Then he said, he made him a living soul. That's his mind, will, and emotion. Now, he got a mind, will, but he don't got no spirit. Then God said, he what? He breathed the spirit into him. Okay? So your soul and your spirit, both of them, is either going to go one place or another. This body is nothing. From the dirt you came, dirt you will. Dirt you go. So here we is. Make, what do we do with our body? Oh, our body is everything. Oh, I'm getting new clothes. I'm getting new outfits. I'm doing what else I'm doing with my body. People are doing plastic surgery now. Exactly. Oh, that's the button. Yeah. Yeah. Enhancements now. People that think they're super beautiful, them people, oh, they got bad. Okay. So they, okay. They're the ones that they be talking about. They be talking about at the end, which they love themselves. Them people that just in love with they self. Right. My, my own image. But your care. body is just a vessel. It's the, your, your body actually holds your soul and your spirit. Now, either your spirit is alive or your spirit is what? So either I got a dead spirit in me or I got a live in the spirit. Tell me the difference between a dead and a live spirit. What's a live spirit? Live spirit. Talk loud. Huh? A godly spirit. A live spirit has been, you must be what? Born again. Come on, y'all. You born must again. be born again. When you're born again, what do you have? The Holy Spirit. You have the Holy Spirit inside you, so you alive in. He said, I quicken your spirit. Okay? So you got a live spirit. Now, if you're not born, a spirit, a born again, what do you have? A dead spirit. They need to be quickened. How can I make my dead spirit alive? What, what? Repent. Repent and then what? And believe. Repent and what? Believe what? Believe the gospel. You got to repent and you got to believe the gospel. Amen? Amen. What do you got to say? I was going to say that Jesus Christ came down from heaven to earth and they died and rose again. Ask them to come into your heart. When you're saying the sinner's prayer, you're asking them, hey, I'll be telling them I'm a sinner. Wash me, make me clean, come into my heart, baptize me with the Holy Spirit. You know, you want to be, yeah, <laughs> I will write my name in the book of life so when I do leave, my name is there. 
You know? Can you just be me talking lip service? Like me getting baptized, I really don't believe. And me saying the word, but I really don't believe. Will I still be saved? Why? You say you must believe with your heart. You're going to confess with your mouth, but you're going to believe with your heart. Good girl. Yeah, you're going to believe with your heart. And then you shall be what? Okay. So listen, I want you to read Hebrews 5 and 11. Then we're going to jump to uh, what he talked about. I mean, the preaching the word, but we're going to be done. Okay? So read Hebrews 5, 11 real quick. Hebrews 5 and 11 says, We have much to say about this, but it is hard to make it appear to you because you no longer try to understand. Wait a minute. Come on now. Say it again. We have much to say about this, but it is hard to make it clear to you because you no longer try to understand. Okay, it said this, but some people, which was the Israelites, they don't want to understand no more. So let's go on. He's talked to a host of people. In fact, though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God's word. Wait a minute, it says we ought to be what? We should be teaching other people right now. But, but instead of us teaching other people, what is it say? Yeah. So we need to be to, uh, you need someone to teach you the elementary truth. Of God's words all over again. All over again. So wait a minute. Even these are believers. So they say, wait a minute, you a believer. You've been in the church five, six, ten years, fifteen years, you so holy, but you don't know nothing. You need to be up teaching other people now. But instead, people are still teaching you the elementary truths. Because you don't even, what is elementary? Salvation. No, what's elementary? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Baby, the elementary kids. Okay? So it's, come on, read on, fast. You need milk, not solid food. You're a baby. God is telling us we need to grow up. Come on, wait a minute. And, and, and you know, I say this to set free. I say this to us. I say this to our ministry. Our ministry has been through so much. Not only that, we have been through school. A lot of you in here got AAs. That's uh, 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 biblical studies. We need to be raising up and teaching other people right now, but we still like, okay, which way do I go? And God really ain't pleased with that. Now we got our own church, and we're still doing the same thing. We've been here five months. We got to get going, saints. It's time. This is the time, right now. All that other time was what? Huh? Not play. Testing, practice. And God said, you know what? I see y'all faithfulness, and he got us here. He did that. Now, what are we going to do when we're here? Okay? Let's read. Anyone who lives on milk being still an infant is not acquainted with the teaching about righteousness. You're not acquainted with the teachings of what? Righteousness. What's righteousness? The right way of doing things. See, this message right here, it makes you like, you know, we say the good message, everybody get happy. We talk like this, everybody get quiet. We get all the shoot snaps, you know, and you get condemned. It's not for us to get condemned. It's for us to get up and stand up and be counted. That's what this is for. It's for us to move. It's not for us to keep saying, what was me? Because you know what? We'll be here two more years saying, what was me? You know? And that's the trick of the enemy, too. God told us when you are saved and you are delivered, if you're not delivered, you need to be up to the altar getting delivered. If you're not saved, you need to pray to send a prayer and get baptized. And if you both of them, it says the Great Commission is what? What's the Great Commission? Go and do what? To who? Baptizing in what? Excuse me? Baptizing, come on, y'all. Baptizing in what? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And teaching them to observe all things. And lo, I am with you until the end of the world. Okay? Amen. Come on, let's read. Anyone? Okay. But solid food is for the mature. 
who by constant use may train themselves to distinguish good from evil. So wait a minute. Solid food is for what? We should be eating meat now? Yes. And you know how you love meat? <laughs> we should be eating that good fat meat? Okay, this for the mature people? Okay, but by constant use, I'm constantly using that word, I'm working that word, what's gonna happen to me? I can distinguish from good and what? Evil. How many people can distinguish from good and evil? Huh? But you just laughed, you just he just said that? No, I laughed because he be spotting people that even be trying to have good. Huh? I laughed because yeah. I laughed because yeah. Every time I'm like, no, no, he's like it's not good or is bad? More stuff, she's talking about like people, yeah. Like I've seen that man in the church, yeah. Jump, and I knew that he wasn't right. Really? That's Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. Immediately. 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 But see, you know, it's so funny that, listen, here's the key. It is so funny that people will sit up there in their church and, and the person they would judge would be you. Because you the one that jumped up and they didn't see all that, that antagonizing. I mean, look, I just told your auntie about this. That antagonizing man kept antagonizing and kept looking back there at us and kept, he was going, I think he's a pervert. He want my kids. Tony was really tripping out back there. He kept looking. It was ridiculous. You know, and, and then he started saying stuff. You know, and then he started prophesying when he was prophesying. And then, wait a minute, and then, yeah, he was proper lying. And then when they went outside, wait a minute, first everybody was trying to say, yeah, no, he's right. And then if the truth came out, they said, no, he's not right at all. He's wrong. This is the people. This at the church. So I said, but you let him in your church, and you let people believe he's a minister. And he got up and he prophesied, and he did all this stuff. He was out of line, and you guys are more out of line for allowing him to do that. That's like if somebody come in this church and say, dust set the Lord, I'm going to say, you got to go. Or sit down. You're not even doing all that dust set the Lord hollering like he did. You know, but it looked at when it, face value, it looked at like that he was wrong. Now, as far as him getting mad, calling the man out, going out there, trying to fight the man, did try to fight the big man. Then the big man says, calm down, brother. And it's, that, no, he sure didn't. He said, he said, he said, well, you got your fist ball. <laughs> but, but the thing is, is it took all that to say that this man's not right. And these are the same people in the church that's prophesying and what? Faking. Speaking into your life. Speaking into your life. And not right. Ain't right at all. So guess what? You got to know him for yourself. You got to read this Bible for yourself. And because you do read this Bible, because you do know, you knew right away. As soon as he said that, the man didn't say a word. As soon as he said that, he said, that man ain't right. So, I mean, what second? I said, Tony, how you know that man alone? And he was right. That man was not right. Okay? You got to know him. How do we know God? How do we build a relationship with God? The true and living God, the Jesus. How do we build a real relationship with Not that fake stuff. Not that, that just because I get up and I can speak and I can do that, that's fake. How do you build up a real relationship with God? Because people who've been faking for years, they don't know how to build a relationship because I've been faking for years. It's easy for somebody who never faked to build a relationship with God. Why? It, they never faked to build a relationship with God. Because you talked about it today. Can you speak it? Talk loud. What did you explain to me when we was talking today? Which not they that talked about you? What happened? Hey, hey, how do I stop that? Hey, come on, talk. What's your else? Somebody talk. Fake people is because when I was young, they embedded in me to 
be faith, the faith church, and the faith, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, all that stuff, they embed the stuff in you, and you don't, I mean, I don't know how to come out of that. Well, that's like 75% of all them churches out here. Oh, well, I'm just saying. They to a lot of different churches, too, and they get in there and they, oh, this is that and thou, and it's still getting it. Why do you think they look at me and say, girl, you is so crazy? But why do you think that all these pastors look at me and say, girl, you're, you're so crazy, but you're a breath of fresh air? Because I do no play. I say crazy stuff. I don't care. And I say, I don't care. And that's it. <laughs> and tell me, they say, I don't care. And then you, you're more fight. So I can't care because I can't get on people with me. So listen, no, I can't care. <laughs> That's right. 
That's your doctrine against my doctrine. That's all one doctrine. That's it's all in this Bible. Wait a minute, hold on. Why does the doctrine word get thrown around so much when it's all supposed to be about this one book? You shouldn't have no extra doctrine. You shouldn't tell somebody that they only got to do the baptism. They only got to call them. We're supposed to know the whole thing through and through. But somewhere where demons slipped in, evil spirits slipped in the church. And, they get stuck. and so now they confused. So somewhere spirits come and they slip in. And then think about think about how the slave, like the slave master, the slave master, he didn't have you doing only certain verses that condemn that that condemn the slave. They help, yeah. You know what I'm so it's just we justify just what they was doing. We just follow that same program in the, in the churches though. They just follow that same program. We just did. Don't get deep because you get too deep. It gets too deep for you. Right, and you know right now they're not even preaching hell. Do you know right now that thirty they said. 30% of uh, uh, America right now is they're not, they don't believe in Christ at all now. Oh, they don't. It's growing. It's going, growing. But yeah, you tell, I was just telling that Sunday, I forgot what we were doing. I said, look at it, just turn their whole back on God. They don't care about God at all no more. And nothing that we do, nothing in the society, in the world, they, they took it out. They took them out the school, can't say it in the Pledge of Allegiance. They're Until taking they them out of everything. What? Until they need them. Until they need them. Yeah. When you're on that ground, you're about to die. I bet you. I, it's not a lot of atheists. And if God says, when you're, when you're in that cell getting 30 years, you're saying, oh, God, please. Yeah. God don't need you, and I ain't going to turn his back. That's right. No, he don't turn his back. He ain't turn his back on me, shoot. <laughs> huh? No, nah, he ain't never turned his back on me since when I went in there. He was there. Sometimes we are sinful people. And oh, will he turn his back? He will. Mm -hmm. You gonna mess up, God gonna have to say, all right, no, we gonna get whooping this time. Yeah. Have to let you just keep, keep doing right. what you wanna do, Mama. Right. Work like that. Right. Work like that, and everybody be fine. Right. We all want a relationship with him, but we don't want the whooping part. Yeah, exactly. Wait, but you want a relationship with him, Sean? But what do you do to get the relationship? I know, but I we don't want to listen. We don't want to go to church. We don't want to read. We want everything. If anything, somebody say this right for us to do. We complain. You trying to control my life. You trying to make me do this. I can't stand you. I can't wait till I get away from you. We start all the way when we're a kid with our mom and dad. And it goes on from there. But well, when the devil used to put stuff in my head, boy, well, I was running. Okay, now let me explain this. Just you and somebody else too. No, I'm, saying, I'm saying for the people that you know, I know. People that feel like that, like you're being forced. Don't be forced. No, but I'm talking about forced through the whole world. Like they, people start feeling forced since they're a kid. I feel forced by mommy, my daddy. No, but you know what? I, I think that's a that's a that's a uh, 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 that's a, a blip in the, uh, 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 I don't know how to word it, but that's a glitch in the system that God gives us to still know who He is. The what? The force. 